Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Alhamdulillah Ve salatu ve selamu ala Resulullah Ve ala alihi ve sahbihi ve sellem mecmu'in Today I have a case discussion About testicular microlithiasis As we see here in this ultrasound The transverse view for both testes Here this is the right and this is the left one And we see we see small areas about one to three millimeter hypergrowth in both testes more in this patient more to the right side and this there is no significant shadow of, of this patient of this patient so echogenic fossae scattered within the testicular parenchyma without sh shadowing and the uh, majority of patient has idiopathic might be due to previous infection or trauma may be responsible for microlithiasis and these clusters of microliths may represent testicular tumor even when no soft tissue mass can be identified and these microliths about one to three millimeter in diameter what are uh, and uh, also adjacent hypocorc fossae if seen could represent neoplasma adjacent to the microlithiasis we should use <coughs> a probe a transducer probe at least 7.5 megahertz to see the microlithiasis what are the pathology testicular neoplasma they said about 18 to 75 of intratubular germ cell tumor may be seen in cyto a presence of microlithiasis alone is in absence of other risk factor is not an indication for regular scrotal ultrasound it is important a presence of microlithiasis alone in absence of other risk factor is not an indication for regular scrotal ultrasound Further sonographic screening or sonographic screening or biopsy. Ultrasound is recommended in follow up patient who has risk factor and has risk factor, family history of germ cell tumor, and maldescended or undescended testis, or cure. Or cure of codibixi, testicular atrophy, and other risk factor you know. So this is a case of microlithiasis involving both testes. In conclusion, if there is no absence of risk factor, no need for follow-up or biopsy or screening, and these are one to three millimeter hyperocoic area can be associated with testicular tumor if there is any risk factor like undescended testis, family history of germ tumor and testicular atrophy and others thank you for listening and hoping to see you soon in another talk